Hello, lovely one. I'm going to teach you how to simplify this without using this. Yes, you don't need this. And I also want to know your own approach towards this. Let's discuss about it in the comments. Now, let me teach you what to do, okay? It's just so easy. So what do we do? We begin this with solution. So this is what we have. Let's repeat it. We have root of 30 multiplied by 31 multiplied by 32 multiplied by 33, then add 1. Now, what do you do next? This is the same as root of 30. Is this, this is 30 multiplied. 31, you know, is the same as 30 add 1. Okay. Then 32 is the same as 30 add 2. Then 33 is the same as 30 add 3. Then plus 1. Interesting. Now, what do you observe? You see that we have 30 repeated. So we can choose to say, let x equal to 30. Now, what do we do? We're going to replace. So we're going to have root of, this is 30. So instead of writing 30, I am going to replace it with my x. So I have x multiplied by, this is x plus 1 for this. Then we have x plus 2 and finally this we have x plus 3 then add 1 interesting now what do you do at this point i'm going to show you so we keep simplifying this to now have root of x we can rearrange this to have just to suit what we want to do this can also be written as x multiply x plus 3 okay multiplied by x plus 1 into x plus 2, then add 1. Now, what do you think we should do next? Let's work with these two and then with these two. So if you do that, you are going to have root of, this x will be distributed inside, okay? So see what you do. Just distribute this x inside this bracket. So x multiplies x gives you x squared x we multiply 3, it gives you 3x. Interesting. These are together, okay? Then for these, what do we do? We still distribute. So we go with this first, distribute this first. So if you do that, you have x multiplies x gives you x squared. x multiplies 2 gives you 2x. Then you go with 1, okay? Distribute 1. So we have 1 multiplies x gives you x which is 1x then 1 multiplies 2 gives you 2 then add 1 interesting now what do you do next keep simplifying this gives us root of x squared plus 3x into this will give us x squared add these two that the same okay so it gives us 3x plus 2 then add 1 you still observe that x plus x squared plus 3x is here. We also have x squared plus 3x. Now we can still say, let this, let's y be equal to x squared plus 3x. We are doing this to simplify. Remember, we are not using calculator. And don't forget to like this video. Let me also know how you feel about it in the comment section. Share it with your friends. And thank you. Let's continue. So if you keep simplifying this, we are going to have root of the whole of this is going to take the value of y. Okay. Then this is going to give us, you see that this, this is representing this y. So we're going to have y plus two, then add one. Interesting. So what you do next, distribute this inside the brackets. Okay. So it's going to give us root of, this will give us y squared, this will give us 2y, then add 1. This is also written as root of y squared plus 2y multiplied by 1. If you multiply this by 1, it's still the same thing. See why we did that, it plus 1. Now when you have this, it reminds you of Anytime you have a plus b raised to the power of 2, it is always a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is your binomial, okay? 
this is the same as this. Now, when you look up, you observe that what you have here is y squared plus 2y multiplied by 1. This one, you know, when you have 1, is same as 1 squared. So we can also still write this as 1 squared. So what did you observe? You see that this is this. 2 multiply first letter and second, you see 2ab, that's this. Then plus 1 squared. So what it means is that this is the same with, this is the same as y plus 1 to the power of 2 in this form. If you expand this, this is what you have obeying this binomial formula. So at that point, we have it that just remember also that each time you have root of a raised to the power of 2 is also the same as root of a squared. So this square, we cancel the root to give you a. Okay. So at this point, we are going to simplify this. So this is going to give us these two, we can see the square root. This is square root. And you are left with y plus 1. Now, at this point, remember, you already made a statement earlier that y is equal to x squared plus 3x. So if this was what we stated earlier, we are going to replace it here. So to do that, we are going to have our y is x squared plus 3x, then add this one, okay? You also need to remember you said that your x, at this point, you also remember you said, let's write it here. We also said x is equal to 30. We made it earlier, okay? So at this point, since we've gotten this, we are going to return what we have for x. So in that case, we are going to have 30 squared, plus 30, so this is 3 multiplying 30, then add 1. So if you simplify this, remember, this is the same as 3 multiplied by 10, okay? Raised to power of 2 plus, this will give us 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 add the 0 is 90, add 1. Now what do you do here? Just remember, for every a, b to the power of m, it is a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m. So if you apply it here, you observe that 3 will be squared and 10 will also be squared. Did you see that? Then add 90, then plus 1. So if you keep simplifying this, this is going to give us 3 squared is 3 times 3 to give us 9. So we're going to have 9 multiplying 10 squared is 10 times 10, and that will give us 100. So we have 9 multiplied by 100, okay? Then add 90, add 1. When you multiply these two, it gives you 900, then plus 90, then plus 1. Let's add the ones. Add 1, 0, and 0. It gives you 1. Add the tens. 9 and 0 We give us 9. Then at the 100, we have 9. So what it means is that for simplifying this expression without using calculator, we have 991. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like this video, share it. And also, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and click for more notification. I love you all. And don't also forget to tell us what you feel about this in the comments. I'll be there with you. Bye-bye.